Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. I'm back with the Gibson SG. You remember, the one that had the severely broken neck, which I fixed, added a vibrola, and now it sounds and looks pretty damn good. <laughs> There are a couple of videos about this guitar on the channel already, which you should go and watch if you haven't done so already, after you finish watching this one, of course. Today, I want to take this a little Iomi. I've been threatening to go full Sabbath with this guitar from the very outset by including a set of nickel-covered P90 pickups. These ones here, in fact. I wound these up yesterday to the same vintage hot specifications that I talked about at length in my What Are P90 Pickups video. Another one that you should go and watch. In fact, you know what? Maybe you should be subscribed to this channel if you want to see all that great content. Look, this many people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. And frankly, I think that is a disgrace. These are wound just shy of 10,000 turns of 42 gauge copper, a mismatch of Alnico 4 and Alnico 2 magnets in each, the neck unit being reverse wound reverse polarity for humbucking operation in the middle position, and of course these were taken for a bath in the pot. This process confused a fair amount of people the last time I showed it without explanation, so here goes. This pot contains a mixture of paraffin wax and beeswax, and it all gets melted together at a temperature just above 60 degrees Celsius, and the pickups are submerged. The hot liquid wax penetrates all of the air space in the coils. You can see the air bubbles escaping as the wax creeps into all the gaps. The pickups are then removed and left to cool. The wax inside solidifies and consolidates the coil into one singular mass, preventing any loose loops of the coil moving around. This process prevents microphonic behaviour in the pickup. Microphonic meaning behaving like a microphone, where any physical vibrations incident on the pickup would be converted into signal and amplified. Here's an example of what that sounds like. See this? This is what I don't want the P90s to do. I'm not just replacing the pickups, however. I also want to replace all of the potentiometers. The reason being that the ones in here are 300 kilo ohms and were darkening the sound of the humbuckers and would likely have done the same for the P90s, which have an equivalent output. 500 kilo ohms is the more standard potentiometer value associated with humbuckers and P90s, allowing more of their high frequency content to reach the output. I made this same alteration to my modified Gothic Flying V and it made such an impact that I abandoned my plans to replace its pickups. This will allow the SG to be extra aggressive if required and should I want a darker sound, the tone controls can be adjusted to compensate. The pickup kits and electronics for this were generously supplied by Allegri.co.uk where you should visit for all of your pickup, electronic and guitar part needs. The nickel covers on the P90s give a similar look to Iomi's iconic Monkey SG Special, which recently got an Epiphone replica. One last thing to do is string this up with a fresh set of Daddario 11s and tune it to C sharp, the tuning that many of the best Black Sabbath songs are in. It's time to go into the void. <laughs>
I don't think there's much more left to say. The SG now has P90s in it, and I'll be playing a lot more Sabbath on this going forward. It does, however, mean that a lot of my guitars now have P90s in them, which means it might just be time to change out the loadout in my Allegri Parts caster. You can leave me a comment below saying what you think I should do with this next. Now don't forget to click all the buttons you're supposed to to make this video viable to the ever-changing whims of the YouTube algorithm. That's all for now. Keep it loud and stay safe.